Hey folks! Well, it's January 2019. It's snowing outside, so I'm here in the garage today. And what I have here is a Smitty Built Defender roof rack that I'm going to put on the Trooper. It's uh, a four and a half foot wide by six and a half foot wide model in uh, the three piece bolt together, which I figured would be good for uh, ever taking it down or moving it around. On the Trooper right now, I have these Uni Strut rails. I think they're a half inch high. They're mounted along the roof of the truck, and I'm hoping I could just put this rack together and, and mount the, uh, the rack to the rails. And uh, right now I have my high lift jack bolted directly to that rail, and that's not gonna work anymore. So I picked up the high lift jack mount and adapter for Defender roof rack. So this is the official high lift mount for the Defender rack, which should be pretty cool. So underneath the weather stripping here, there's a set of two pre-threaded holes right here, right here, and right there. This piece of stripping is held on with these plastic clips that are literally from hell. They are brittle, they are old. Any Isuzu in the junkyard, they're gonna be brittle and old, and you have to be extremely careful to get this off without breaking it. So I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try my best not to have to take this off for this video because this, I don't wanna risk breaking any clips. I don't have any spares. I may have like one spare one. Hey everyone, since I'm lazy and I didn't end up removing the plastic trim molding, I went online and found some pictures for reference so I could show you guys. First of all, shout out to Tato Head on Planet Azuzu forums because I stole some of your pictures that I found here. Thanks a lot for those. These clips really suck. What you have to do here is use a flat screwdriver and like peek underneath this plastic rubber trim molding that's on the roof seam. So like the, the main part of it is plastic but the edge is kind of like a soft rubber so you should be able to kind of peek up underneath there and you'll see about seven or so of these clips on each side of the truck so be really gentle but uh, when you find a clip use your screwdriver and push gently on the tab that's in the center of the clip push on that and kind of lift up on the molding and you'll release it so here's a picture here that kind of shows this tab on the clip this is what you're looking for once you do this on all seven or so clips you release each one then this the molding will just be loose you can kind of like slide it it'll kind of like ride along the these clips front to back and you can just kind of slide it back and lift it right off so now once you remove the trim the mount points are revealed and in my case and probably yours too you're not going to see any bolts in the holes but really they're covered with this tape this tape is kind of like a foam thick tape and it's actually painted the color of the of the body of the truck and you just use that flat screwdriver that you had find the soft spot in the tape where there's nothing underneath and just punch it out there you go you just kind of revealed the location and if you compare to my video here you'll see the front middle and back where each bracket is and that's where you need to look but this is how you find those clips be really gentle and you're gonna have to find some spares at the junkyard because you'll definitely break a few but I think I can get by by just removing my uni strut uh, here, here, there, there, and there. I need to pull it off to get my uh, studs that held the high lift, because those go through. Hey, it is a kitty. Yeah, so then I think the rack is just gonna sit right up here. I need to kind of take some measurements, see where I want the front and back to sit. But other than that, it should be a winner. Oh, here's the back. the front and here is the center ding dong all right the nuts and bolts are 13 millimeter they are a pair of them on every joint on both sides so i'm going to zip these on with the air ratchet Let's take a closer look at the rack itself. You see this finish is kind of a powder coat, sort of like a rough and tough powder coat. Looks sort of like a truck bed lining a little bit. Here's the, uh, the connection here. We've got a little lock washer bolted up. Seems pretty sturdy. Biggest complaint from reviews I've seen on this thing is uh, people complain of rust leaking out of these little drain plugs. Not quite sure uh, how to avoid that. I don't know how water is getting into this piping, whether it's through the welds or through these little guys themselves, but 
I live here in New Mexico. It's pretty dry. You know, ironically, it's, it's snowing and raining today. We don't get enough precipitation that I'm really gonna worry about it. Here's the back. It says Defender up on it, that's kinda cool. It looked a lot bigger than it is on the line in the pictures. I was kinda thinking like, boy, this is gonna stick up high off the top of the roof. It's, it's not that big, actually. I don't think it's gonna be, be an eyesore. The way this mounts up, it's gonna work perfectly with my Unistrut. It doesn't matter how wide your vehicle is, it'll work. So I think my strut's gonna sit around the center or maybe a little bit more out here. Probably this hole, this hole or this hole should work. All right, today's the day. It's a few days later. It's getting sunny. It's time to put the rack on the trooper. So in order to line up these mount points here, I'm just gonna mock it up with some cardboard. Cool. I want the rear of the rack, right? As close to the you know, end of the body as I can. Give me room for a future light bar up front. Here's the first chance I'm getting an actual sense of scale of how big this thing is. I kind of have a slight predicament with my mounting. As you see, I got a point here, here, and here. On those points, it's occupying space on this uh, unistrut. And when you measure out these points, I gotta line them up so they don't interfere with these guys. When I originally wanted this, right here, uh, this one's okay, but this guy gets in the way of this mount point right here. I think what I need to do here, best option, I'm gonna move this to just in front of here. That pushes the whole rack forward about probably five inches. I'm not gonna worry about it since it actually is smaller than I expected. I thought, I was like, wow, six feet, this is gonna be so long. Let's uh, try and get it up and I, I hope my chiropractor's not watching this because I just threw up my back last week and I'm here lifting this heavy, heavy thing. So let's try not and uh, cause any more damage here. Lol. All right. So it's been yet another few days and I have been busy. As you can see, went wheeling. Went out to the Cedro Peak area again, this time in about a foot of snow. That was fun, snow and mud. And the rack is on and looking sharp. So basically got it the way that I discussed here in the clips. Bolted it straight up to the rail. I had to run the bolt up through the underneath of the rail, so I had to remove it to get the bolts through. Managed to get good positioning. I got it, you know, after uh, just in front of this bracket here. I cleared this bracket and I cleared the front one. So I got all mount points connected. Everything is flush, it fits real good. Here's a front view, I apologize that it's dark, but that's a good uh, indicator for how wide it is. As you can see there, it goes beyond the body on the roof, but it's not like the widest point of the truck by, by any means at all. So it looks good and it says Schmitty Built Defender right up there in the front. So it looks pretty cool. So pretty sharp. Something I noticed here, this my front bumper is actually a little tweaked. It doesn't mount up exactly perfect. And right here in the front here, this, this tire rubs, you can see. The added weight of the rack added just enough weight that like every time I turned and uh, the load came down here on the right side when I made a left hand turn, this was rubbing bad. So I actually went there and I greased up the torsion bars, penetrating fluid and I added a little more lift up on the front just to compensate for that. So we'll go around the block and see if I did it evenly because I feel like I did more on that side than that side. That's why you should pay attention when you're doing things like that. You see I got a lot of clearance there so go around and see. See if I need to take some out. As for the rack, I'm really happy with it. I actually climbed the, up the ladder on the back and I stood on the rack and I walked on it. And that thing is super sturdy. The way I have it mounted up, it is not going anywhere. Now, I, I don't think I could like attach a crane and lift the trooper off the ground with it. It's not that strong, but it's certainly gonna suit whatever I need to put up there. Down the line, something I like to do is mount some LED lights on the sides and on the back up high. It's pretty nice light mounts on it. They, they make this like light fixture thing for the Defender. That light thing, it looks freaking sweet, but gosh darn, isn't it huge? Like, I don't know if I want that thing. Like, it would look sick, but how? bad is that gonna hurt my gas mileage so you know I may just steer 
put a roof uh, LED bar right up here in front of that rack. That'd be a lot brighter and cheaper and less wind resistance. And But yeah, the, the rack is really awesome. I've had it on for about a week and it makes a little bit of wind noise. If you're driving on a windy day, you could definitely hear it, but I'd say the amount of wind noise it adds is pretty minimal. One thing I would like to say is on my mounting, you see here I got three open holes on this side. Then over here on the passenger side, I have two free holes. So with the width of the truck, I wasn't quite able to center it exactly how I wanted to. It was either had to be a little more to the passenger or a little more to the driver's side. So I just nudged it over that way. So it, it does stick out on the driver, probably a eh, half an inch, three quarter inch more. So that's not the end of the world. If you can maybe tell, here's me standing in front of the headlight on the driver's side. Here's the headlight on the passenger. So it's a little bit over, but there's nothing I could do really with the current mounting situation. Let's look at the back. It doesn't stick too far out back here. In fact, you know, I wanted it further back. I wanted it here or even you know probably there but just with where this mounting surface was with this there was just no way I could do it I mean it would have had to be been like here if I wanted it to clear this guy from here this and that so what do you do I got it where it is so it should be good I'll be ready to load up the canoe later this summer and and that'll be pretty fun well you guys that's the conclusion of this here Zuzu Trooper Smitty Built Defender roof rack installation. I'm really happy with the rack, even though I haven't really put anything up on there yet. It's solid as a rock, it was really affordable, and I think it's gonna do well for what I need it to do. Hauling stuff, gear, camping stuff, moving things around, should be great. Looking forward to putting it to use. So that concludes this. Thank you all for sticking through and watching this, and if you're interested in any more Zuzu stuff, I have a video here showing all the mods I've done and plenty of off-roading clips. So check those out and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. That's good. Zuzu power.